Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optobotomus coming at you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new MaddieCollector.com exclusive Ghostbusters 2 Slime Blower Winston Zedmore. Now, much like with every other Maddie collector, we get this nice uh, white mailing box. Uh, actually in good condition because they didn't use the stupid bubble wrap to ship this figure to me. Thank you, Maddie collector. Thank you very much. Pop this little bottom section open. Flip it out. And I've already actually, I actually removed the, the tissue paper. So no tissue paper, just... <gasps> Winston, absolutely cool looking. Finally, we get a really nice Ghostbuster 2 figure. Now we've gotten some previously, but uh, this one is one that I was really looking forward to getting. Flip around here on the back and it says, Winston Zedmore was a former Marine, former cab driver, former construction worker, and holds multiple academic degrees. His Ghostbuster status is the only non-founding member of the team and the only down-to-earth member of the group. Quote of a quote says that New York, what a town, huh? Hobbies and habits. Appreciates fine art with ugly dudes. Quotes the Bible and is a master of pantomime. Sure. Accomplishments is he went for a swim in a psychomagnetic slime and helped take the Statue of Liberty out for a walk. His uh, office supplies that he needs is I heart a New York mug, party balloons, and rat repellent because he doesn't like rats too much. Absolutely love Winston. He's so fun. Uh, gorgeous looking packaging on here. I do like the uh, big giant Ghostbusters 2 logo. And uh, you can see that most of, the, most of the other packaging is very much the same with the uh, terror dogs here on the side. But let's get the guy open and see how cool he actually is. Now the Winston figure itself actually sports an entirely new upper torso, which I absolutely love. The previous Ghostbuster 2 figures we got were just basic repaints, which to a degree was a little bit disappointing, but eh, I could kind of sort of let that go. But with Winston, they completely redid the upper torso to incorporate the slime blower. Not only that, but the actual body harness that it's attached to. And I think it looks wonderful. Unfortunately, again, it's not removable. That's definitely a feature I would like to see incorporated in some other figures, especially since I got my fingers crossed that at some point in time, we'll get an Ecto-1, maybe? But absolutely wonderful looking. When we first saw pictures of this, uh, I believe it was at last year's San Diego Comic-Con, this figure instantly created a huge uproar, mostly because the actual slime blower looked retarded on the other one. It was way too small, completely inaccurate looking, and just overall bad. This figure, if I'm not mistaken, I mentioned it earlier, uh, was originally supposed to be released in January. And here we are now in June, finally getting it. The folks over at uh, Mattel actually decided to put this figure on hold and completely redesign the slime blower. And I'm so happy that they actually did. This is just a much better representation of how it looked in the movie. Now, touting that they uh, actually have movie-accurate black gloves, as you can see, it actually does. And if I am not mistaken, he did wear black gloves when he was in the Statue of Liberty. So very cool looking. Also, very nice looking new face on this guy. Uh, the smiling thing's kind of weird, I suppose. But overall, not too bad. Zooming in here, you can see uh, it, 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 it is a pretty uh, Ghostbusters 2 accurate look. I do really kind of like it. Spinning around here more on the back so you can get a closer look at the slime blower. Really cool. All these hoses and everything. The one thing that does kind of suck is the slime blower. Um, he's got two handles that he can hold on to. Uh, it doesn't have anywhere to really attach. Uh, I guess you can just kind of do it like that where it's just resting up there but really that that's kind of disappointing i suppose now granted i don't think we actually saw that uh, holstered in the movie i could be wrong it's been a little while since i've actually seen the movie but i think that this is a time where they could have used a little bit of creative licensing and given it a place where you can actually holster it Overall, though, wonderful looking figure. In terms of his accessories, he comes with the uh, tripod trap, which this little bit right here just rotates around. Uh, it's not overly spectacular, but it's a decent little uh, nod to the movie itself. We saw it, I believe, only one time in Ghostbusters 2 when they're uh, actually inside a jewelry store that's haunted, I suppose you could say, and it had several of these lined up around. Um, it would be nice to have gotten a couple extra of these, maybe two or three, but maybe at some point in time, uh, Mattel will actually release a uh, accessory pack, and maybe we'll actually get a few extra of these. Who knows? 
can hope and pray, I suppose. Now, in terms of his articulation, he still has the same basic Ghostbuster body. Uh, his head is on this uh, little ball joint, so you can get whatever kind of motion that you want with that. This, uh, wow, this is really stiff. Little, uh, swivel joint there it moves in and out kind of got that same joint going on here at the elbow uh, back and forth at the wrist and uh, the wrists actually rotate he does rotate at the waist in and out at the uh, the upper part of the hip rotates at the upper part of the thigh bends at the knee he rotates at the boot you got some pivot here in the foot goes back and forth uh, you are noticing that he does have a clear hose which is a nice little touch um, but overall I really do love the way this figure looks one problem that I guess I kind of have if I were to be nitpicky is I don't particularly like this wrist or this hand specifically on this side uh, because it, it is different than his other hand I don't know if you can really see that very well but it kind of gives a limited amount of motion here for the uh, slime blower um because this is a little handle that's kind of hard plastic it doesn't really bend too well so it's a bit of a pain and then you attach right in here come on get in there uh so he kind of is always keeping it up high uh i guess that's a little bit better but uh, just in general, it, I, I kind of wish that they would use... Oh, that's not even attached anymore. Because um, um, you, you see how the hand is diagonal. Uh, if it had a more up and down palm, um, I think it would be a little bit better and serve serve better, uh, I suppose. Because now, yeah, see, you, you kind of have to bend it a little bit just to kind of hold the actual uh, blower a little bit lower. But overall, pretty nice. I, I don't mind it too much. I'm just being nitpicky. All in all, though, I really do love the way that this guy looks. And I am convinced that we're going to get an actual race line blower version in the future. But for those people that, uh, you know, are a little bit impatient, if you have an extra Ray head, and if you got two of these figures, you can do your own little custom uh, race line blower version. But overall, a wonderful looking figure that I'm so finally happy to get my hands on. And at the time of this recording, this figure is still available on MattyCollector.com. So if you are really interested in him, head on over there right now and pick up your very own slime blower, Winston Zedmore. So until next time, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomus. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>